I don't think anybody knows why one book is a success and another book is a failure. I can tell you what people tell me. They tell me that they fall in love with the characters. That's the most uh, common message I get from emails and from letters over the years and from contact with people at readings. They fall in love with the characters and they feel like the characters mirror their own journey. Um, this is particularly true with young readers who feel they identify with Louis or Lestat in the novels. They feel um, a lot of sympathy for their dilemma. And their dilemma is basically that they are vampires and they love, uh, they love people. And they're caught in a kind of tragic trap for it. because they want to be immortal, because they don't want to cease to exist, they go on drinking blood, they go on doing what they know to be wrong. And a lot of people identify with that. I think, I think the concept of the vampire has always been an incredibly powerful concept. You have there the idea of, of an immortal monster who's basically human, who still has a heart and a conscience and talks like a human being, looks like a human being, basically seduces his victims. Well, right there in that concept, you have huge tragic potential. When you ask yourself, well, what is that man, that vampire woman or man, think or feel, what, what kind of sacrifice does immortality involve for him? So when you have that kind of potential, um, you can explore it in a lot of deep ways. And people are going to find out that vampire literature is really about us. It's not just about vampires, it's about human beings. The vampire's immortality, that's kind of a metaphor for our own perception that we may have immortal souls that we are going to die. We're the only creatures on the planet who apparently know we're going to die. Um, so that when you have a concept that's that rich, there are many, many possibilities. But why my novels um, struck a chord, you know, I can't really say. Except that, that certainly I wanted readers to fall in love with the characters. I wanted the plots to be exciting. Uh, I never uh, disdained plot the way many modern writers do. For me, plot was important, action was important, narrative was important. So maybe that has something to do with it. It's, it's been said that every book up there on the New York Times list um, has some kind of narrative that people can follow. But that's, that's not always true. Sometimes there's experimental fiction up there that is not driven by narrative. But most of the time there's a story. So you could boil it down to the line, there's a story to it.